Hey dolls, welcome back to another video. So this video is gonna be another Let's Entrepreneur Life episode eight. And this is gonna be more of a vlog video. So, you know, it's more, you know, we're not just gonna be sitting in my room, you know, for the most of the video, okay? So first and foremost, if you are new, make sure you sit to subscribe. You know, my Entrepreneur Life vlogs are just so lit, so clean, so clipped. So everything like this video as you can see I'm dressed to impress take somebody man take somebody bae take somebody lady okay. this time I'm just take you guys with me it's gonna be a great day and I was like you know what why not take you guys along with me okay so first and foremost this video is sponsored by Virgo hair they sent me this gorgeous 22 inch Brazilian straight wig and I had bleach her and the color look at this color guys the color is just so beautiful i just wanted some nice highlights and i curled her and she is just looking bomb so if you want this wig make sure you check out the link in the description box below burger hair they have amazing deals you know summer's coming up they have amazing coupon codes and like their hair is so beautiful okay and you guys are going to see how these curls are going to look throughout this whole video throughout the whole day do this hair hold a curl good you guys are going to see okay but i'm just in love with this install i haven't did a side part in so long and i was like girl i need to do a side part okay and also the lashes i'm wearing are from my website anna's dollhouse the 25 doll mm lashes so make sure you check that out also and if a photo do Let's go ship these orders out and you know, do our thing. Okay guys, so I just came out of the post office and here are all the tracking numbers. And I'm gonna put the tracking numbers in manually when I get home. All right guys, I literally had to wait like 10 minutes because this crackheads out here is wild. Like, yo, so. I'm in a car. My mom had to make all these stops. Like, I could have went to the post over myself. She got to make all these stops before she dropped me to the train. Just give some motivational talk to you guys. If you're ever feeling unmotivated, like you're not having enough sales, you know, you're just feeling like your business is not doing well. You can't expect sales like every minute, every minute, every minute if you're still a small business owner. You have to grow to understand that there's a hundred thousand other businesses out there that's doing the same thing as you you know so you have to be really you have to be really patient guys you have to come to reality that things are just not easy like things are not just gonna go your way you're not gonna have like a hundred orders a day you know and honestly i'm not saying it's impossible to happen but you have to be patient i feel unmotivated i look at how i was when i first started my business when i first started my business i literally had zero to one sales like i wasn't getting no sales barely um you know it was just right like a very slow process i wasn't really that motivated as i was as i am now so i look back at how it was when i first started my business then i look at how i am now and that gives me motivation because you see growth whether it's like a little bit of growth or whatever you will see growth so look at how you used to be when you first started your business and how you how you are now you see growth right you're making you're probably making more orders even if you're not getting like a lot of orders how you expect it to be you're getting some orders you know you're getting more orders than you was before so there's always growth and it's okay to feel unmotivated but let me tell you this them unmotivated days them lazy days and stuff like that that's the devil trying to come and to yank your edges out your scalp. You need them edges, right? So when you have them slow, sad days, get yourself off of your feet and just keep on pushing. Because I had, I be having them days sometimes. And when I finally get off my feet and, you know, promote my products, you know, just get up and do a video or something to, you know, promote my products or just better myself, it always has a great outcome. And if you don't do it, you're going to be like, oh, wow, I should have did that because this would have happened, right? So always take risks, always take chances, like do not spend a day doing nothing. Always be working, always find out another way how to make money. Me, I have multiple ways of income. I don't like subject myself to one way of making making money I don't like to do that I don't do that I like to have multiple um multiple ways of income stuff like that because you never know what's gonna happen guys like you never know what's gonna happen you can't really subject yourself to one thing like say you just want to do makeup if you have a talent in like hair or 
photography or something like that go with that talent okay you never know how long what you're doing might last you never know you always want to try new things I used to be like that I used to just like do strictly makeup on YouTube and I started doing entrepreneur vlogs hair vlogs always subject yourself to one thing um it is really loud but I'm about to go to the train now my mom is back and yeah oh uh oh this is the first time this airport fell out. Okay guys, so I'm finally at the train station. Oh whatever, it's mad empty in here. That's the only reason I'm vlogging. So yeah, I'm waiting for the train. Right now, I'm gonna take the train to go to my vendor. I need to buy um, a jewelry piece for order. And then, yeah, now I also wanna go to Barnes and Nobles to get some business books, guys. Like, I don't know if y'all knew, but I love reading. So we're gonna get some business books. I'm gonna put y'all on to a few of my favorite business books also. Probably get some food, maybe do some shopping. I'm really trying not to be on a no shopping spree. Yeah, I'm really trying not to be on a no shopping spree. But I think look cute today or whatever. Like nobody finna say nothing to me because I <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> if you talk to me, now I'ma bite you. But um let me continue listening to Freak Nasty. And yeah, I'll catch y'all when I get off the train. Guys, uh, so update. Um, update. I'm off the train and it started raining. Like, y'all seen how nice it was outside, right? Like, what the hell? So, I brought an umbrella for $5. It's this cheap ass umbrella. It's barely raining. It's barely motherfucking raining. I just don't want my damn lace front to mess up now my curls gonna fall out <sighs> i thought this was gonna be like a nice video i'll be in a good mood all day but the weather just gotta change up for me but before i do anything though i'm definitely getting sunny eat so i'm going to mcdonald's we're playing some copyrighted ice music so we're not gonna do it three snack wrap One of the places where I get all my wholesale stuff at. I'm just checking out what new stuff they have. Okay, so I went to one store. I just got some new earrings and stuff. I want to add some new earrings to my site. I'm going to like DIY them when I get home. So now I'm going to the other spot that I go. So all these bags over here are like wholesale. I think these are like $10 each. Like no cap. That's how cheap it is. These are like dressy, dressy, dressy bags. I don't think. This is how cute. So, I don't think I really like any of these. Yeah, so, right now, I'm in Staples. I'm, like, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm always seeing a store and be like, girl, let me go in here right quick. So, I'm in Staples. I was just in here to see what they have. What can I pick up for my business? I'm looking at these like envelopes as bone mills. I know they have somewhere where they have this cheaper. Girl, don't drag my edges, okay? But yeah. I think they're just envelopes. Is a white. Literally have this at Dollar Tree for like a dollar. How much is in there? Oh, it's a hundred for nineteen dollars. Not bad. I don't think that's the size I use though. 
Honesty and partial shipping skill. Look at that, guys. That's what I need. I need that. How much is it? $90. Oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait. What is this? Postal and partial skill. Oh, this one is only $27. I mean, it's something that I really, really need, but I can come in handy further in my business. Our labels. So, this is how you can actually make your own labels with these papers. I never use them, but I'm gonna definitely try them. Yes, I'm about to try these once I get my new computer. Oh wow, how much comes in here? Oh, 80. Not bad. Then we got address labels. All that type of stuff. Shipping labels. All those staples. Cash registers here, guys. So that's tight lit. <laughs> I literally changed my mind. I'm like, girl, I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and get those medals. Like, listen, I'm all about saving coin. It don't mean it don't mean make sense to pay like almost two dollars when I can get that from Dollar Tree. I just want to see what they have in the staples. You know, show you guys like what else they have. But um, I don't really see nothing much in here that I absolutely need, honestly. Y'all, I literally have to throw the fucking middle finger at this man. I threw up the middle finger at this man. Like, he really gonna stop in the middle of the motherfucking street talking about some sweetheart, sweetheart, sweetheart. How much fucking sweetheart are you gonna fucking give me, nigga? Like, I'm no sweetheart. I'm not sweet and I'm not no fucking heart. So, yeah, people is crazy. When I see people is crazy, this is why I need to learn how to drive in my own car. But I'm actually by my college. This is where I go to school at. And they have a Barnes Noble right over here, so that's very conventional. But um, I didn't have any class today, so that's like one of the buildings I take my classes in. Oh, Barnes and Noble, here you. What the hell? Oh. Seven spiritual laws of success. That looks like a good one. Chilling at Barnes and Nobles right now. I got this book. I like to do this type of stuff, like go to Barnes and Nobles and read. Um, like when I'm feeling stressed out or when I just want to get some new knowledge of some different type of stuff. Lightning is making me look like a potato. Yeah, these are pretty good books. Um, I'm gonna check it out. See what it says. Then special success. Based on what we are. Just caught my eyes. Like woman with money. By Jean Chatsky. The judgment free God creating. Your joyful, lustrous, purposeful, and yes, rich life you deserve. Period. What you want from your money? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Wow. I'm alone. Most of most of the women to be in this book didn't have a severe answer. What do I want from my money? Actually, what does my money want from me, sister? looks like a pretty good book i'm just like skimming through it guys like wants versus needs for growing so let's figure it out what do you want your money to do for you when, when we're teaching financial literacy to children one of the first issues to get them to separate needs from wants on one coat you need a jersey with a logo your favorite team one lunch need lunch at the new sushi place on the corner one that's a fact that is really a fact. You need to get your wants and needs together. Get only what you need. That's how you will save money. You need some food, girl. You better get that food. Shoot. Not no Jordans. You're going to be hungry and looking fly. It speaks to me. It doesn't matter if we're talking about a little bit of money or a lot. If we can get to the point where we are lining up our values and our spending, we're going to feel better about how we are using our resources. 
think this book was like my last favorite and woman with money it looks like a great book i'm definitely going to be reading chapter two once i get home yes i read chapter one already off camera but yeah i really love this book go home now i am kind of tired even though it's literally like 8 p.m but i'm about to go home this is a pretty calm day i don't really have days like this often so this is just a calm day or whatever but um tomorrow back to busy busy working but um yeah so i'm gonna go home i'm gonna take this book with me i'm gonna check out some other books too and yeah i'll catch y'all when i get home okay guys so i'm back in my house finally i had a long day i hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm like a regular schmegla just kind of like a regular schmegla day and i also stopped at the supermarket to get some stuff so right now i'm gonna take a shower and once i to come out the shower tie my hair up take my makeup off and you know i'm just gonna cut this video off right here okay y'all gonna see me take these 100 oh snap see it's coming off already so yeah let me get my booty in the shower. back home i start making orders that i got you know during the day you can see i have my pickles these are grillo's pickles fresh and clean these are everything okay amazing um yeah <laughs> so i'm just gonna eat my pickles for the night um let me show you guys what else i do i do there um I have my little clipboard I got from the Dollar Tree and basically I'll be writing down ideas like new products I want on my website the next time and stuff like that so yeah that's what I'll be doing and and yeah so got my book I am set I am right um that's what I'm gonna be doing for the night and the orders and I'm gonna wait till the mor the next I'm gonna wait till the morning to start packing all the orders because I don't want to pack much orders today. I don't want to pack the orders, you know, the night before, you know. Because once I get your order, I'm shipping the order out immediately. If you order before 4 p.m., your order will be shipped the next day. So that's why I do it. That's why I wait till the morning to just ship out all the packages that need to be shipped out in, in the afternoon. But yeah, I love you dolls all so much. Let me know if you like you know, I'm still going to incorporate, you know, the entrepreneur and the business in my videos always because that's literally my life right now. Like, literally what I do. I want to give you guys more of a reality, you know, of what I do, how I look like. Put more of my real life into these videos also. Thank you all so much. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for all your love. I appreciate everything. Gonna get my big Bertha to sleep now. Subscribe, like this video. I love y'all. And I'll see you on the next episode. Amen.